Today, I'm gonna to show you Google's brand new DeepThink update that just dropped, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. This thing is crushing every other AI model on the planet right now. We're talking about 99.2% accuracy on advanced math problems. That's better than most humans, and wait until you see what it can create. The voxel art examples will blow your mind. This is the biggest AI breakthrough of 2025 so far. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. So Google just released something that has me completely shocked. And I've been in the AI game for years now. This new update called DeepThink is not just another small improvement. This is a massive leap forward that changes everything. Let me show you exactly what I mean. I ran some tests myself and the results are insane. But first, let me tell you what DeepThink actually is and why it matters for your business. DeepThink is Google's new reasoning model. Think of it like giving AI a brain that can actually think step by step instead of just guessing. Most AI models today give you answers fast, but they're not really thinking, they're pattern matching. DeepThink actually stops and thinks through problems like a human would. And the proof is in the numbers. When Google tested this against other top AI models, DeepThink absolutely destroyed them. We're talking about performance that's three times better in some areas. Let me break down the results for you because they're honestly shocking. First, let's talk about reasoning and knowledge. Google tested this on something called humanity's last exam. This is like the hardest test you can imagine. It covers everything from science to history to complex problem solving. Gemini 2.5 with DeepThink scored 34.8%. That might not sound amazing until you realize the regular Gemini 2.5 Pro only got 21.6%. OpenAI's best model got 20.3%. Grok4 managed 25.4%. But here's where it gets really crazy. In code generation, DeepThink hit 87.6% accuracy. That's almost perfect. The regular Gemini only got 74.2%. OpenAI got 72%. Grok got 79%. This means if you're using AI to write code for your business, DeepThink is going to save you hours of debugging and fixing mistakes. Now, here's the part that made my jaw drop, mathematics performance. On the International Mathematical Olympiad 2025 problems, DeepThink scored 60.7%. This actually reached bronze medal grade. Let me repeat that. Google's AI reached bronze medal level at the most prestigious math competition in the world. Regular Gemini 2.5 Pro got 31.6%. OpenAI got 16.7%. Grok got 21.4%. But wait, it gets even more insane. On the AIME 2025 mathematics test, DeepThink scored 99.2%. That's basically perfect. Regular Gemini got 88%. OpenAI got 88.9%. Grok got 91.7%. This level of mathematical reasoning opens up possibilities we've never had before. You could use this for financial modeling, engineering calculations, data analysis, business forecasting. The applications are endless, but let me show you something even cooler the creative capabilities. Tested DeepThink with a complex creative prompt, or I asked it to design and create a very detailed voxel art scene of a pagoda in a beautiful garden with trees and cherry blossoms, something impressive and colorful. The results blew me away. Regular Gemini 2.5 Flash gave me a basic scene. It had a pagoda and some trees, but it looked pretty simple, like something a beginner might make. Gemini 2.5 Pro did better. The pagoda was more detailed and it added some cherry blossoms. The scene looked more polished, but deep think, holy crap. It created this incredible elaborate scene with a multi-story pagoda, detailed cherry blossom trees, complex landscaping, and even added texture and depth that made it look almost professional. The level of detail and creativity was just on another level. And this wasn't just about following instructions. It was about understanding aesthetics, composition, and visual appeal. Here's what this means for your business. If you're using AI for any kind of creative work, marketing materials, content creation, design concepts, DeepThink is gonna give you results that look professional instead of amateur. But there's something even more important happening here that most people are missing. DeepThink doesn't just give you better results. It thinks through problems step by step. This means it can handle complex business scenarios that other AI models struggle with. Let me give you an example. Say you want to analyze your business data and figure out why your sales dropped last month. Regular A, I might give you some generic suggestions. DeepThink would actually think through your specific situation. It would consider multiple factors, analyze relationships between different data points, and give you insights that are tailored to your exact business. 
This is huge for business owners who want to use AI for strategic decision making. Now, I also ran my own test to see how DeepThink handles complex creative coding tasks. I asked it to create a 3D racing game using 3JS. Not just any game, but one with a looping racetrack, controllable car, arrow key inputs, colorful 3D models, timer, lap counter, and clean code structure. The first attempt was good, but the car controls weren't working properly. When I gave feedback, it immediately fixed the issue. Then when I asked for it to look more beautiful, it created this amazing version with tons of trees and detailed environments. The only trade-off was it made the floor black, which some people might not like. But the level of improvement from feedback was incredible. It was like working with a senior developer who could instantly understand and implement changes. This shows DeepThink's ability to iterate and improve based on feedback. That's exactly what you want when you're building something for your business. But here's what really excites me about this update. The reasoning capabilities. Most AI models today are like really smart parrots. They can repeat patterns they've seen before, but they can't actually think through new problems. DeepThink changes that. It can break down complex problems into smaller pieces, analyze each piece, and then combine the results into a coherent solution. This is closer to how humans actually think, and this opens up use cases that weren't possible before. You could use DeepThink to analyze your entire business strategy and identify blind spots you're missing, you could feed it your financial data and have it spot trends and opportunities. You could give it your marketing campaigns and have it optimize them based on multiple factors. The key is that it's not just pattern matching anymore, it's actual reasoning. Now, I know what you're thinking, this sounds amazing, but when can I actually use it? Google hasn't announced the exact release date for public access yet, but based on their testing and the results they're showing, I expect we'll see this rolled out in the next few months. And when it does launch, the businesses that adopt it early are gonna have a massive advantage over their competitors. Think about it. While your competitors are still using basic AI that gives mediocre results, you'll have access to AI that can actually think through complex problems and give you insights that help you dominate your market. This is why I always tell my AI Profit Boardroom members to stay on top of these updates. The businesses that move fast when new AI capabilities drop are the ones that win big. Speaking of the AI Profit Boardroom, if you want to be first to know about updates like this and learn how to implement them in your business, that's the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. We currently have over 1,000 members and they're all seeing incredible results. But let me get back to DeepThink because there's more you need to know. One thing that really impressed me was how it handles ambiguous or complex requests. Most AI models struggle when you give them something that requires multiple steps of reasoning. For example, if you ask most AI to help you plan a product launch that considers market timing, competitor analysis, budget constraints, and customer psychology all at once, they usually give you generic advice. DeepThink can actually work through each of these factors systematically and give you a plan that makes sense for your specific situation. This is game-changing for business owners who want to use AI for high-level strategic thinking instead of just basic tasks. Another area where DeepThink shines is in understanding context and nuance. It doesn't just look at your words, literally. It tries to understand what you're actually trying to achieve. This means you can give it complex business scenarios and it will understand the underlying goals and constraints, not just the surface level requirements. For content creators and marketers, this is huge. You can describe your audience, your goals, your constraints, and your brand voice. And DeepThink will create content that actually fits your specific needs instead of generic templates. But here's something that really blew my mind about the mathematics performance. Getting 99.2% on AIME 2025 isn't just about being good at math. AIME problems require creative problem solving, pattern recognition, and the ability to see connections that aren't obvious. This level of performance suggests that DeepThink has developed reasoning capabilities that go far beyond what we've seen in AI before. And if it can handle mathematical reasoning at this level, Imagine what it can do for business problems that require similar types of thinking, market analysis, financial modeling, customer behavior prediction, operational optimization. All of these require the same kind of systematic reasoning that DeepThink just proved it can handle. Now, I want to be clear about something. This isn't just hype. The test results are from independent benchmarks that other AI companies use too. Google didn't just create their own tests to make their AI look good. These are standardized tests that measure real capabilities. And DeepThink is absolutely crushing them. The International Mathematical Olympiad results are particularly impressive because these problems are designed to be extremely difficult, even for humans who are really good at math. Reaching bronze medal level 
means DeepThink is performing better than most math prodigies. That's not just incremental improvement. That's a fundamental leap in capability. For business applications, this level of reasoning means you can trust DeepThink with more complex and important decisions instead of just using AI for simple tasks like writing emails or generating basic content. You can use it for strategic analysis, problem solving and planning. But there's another aspect of this that I think is being overlooked. The creative capabilities combined with advanced reasoning create possibilities that didn't exist before. Look at the voxel art example again. DeepThink didn't just follow instructions to create a pagoda scene. It understood aesthetics, composition and visual appeal at a level that produced professional looking results. This suggests that DeepThink can understand and apply creative principles, not just technical instructions. For businesses, this means AI can help with branding, design, marketing materials, and customer experience in ways that actually understand what makes things appealing and effective. You're not just getting AI that can follow templates, you're getting AI that can understand why some designs work better than others and apply those principles to your specific needs. Now, I know some of you are probably wondering about the practical implications of all this. How does this actually help? your business right now. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve with AI implementations, I've got a complete training system inside the AI Success Lab. We have SOPs and processes for implementing AI in your business, plus over 100 use cases and tutorials. The link is in the comments and description. Inside the AI Success Lab, you'll find a checklist of 100 different tutorials that we give away as freebies every day in the school feed. You can get all the video notes and training materials, plus access to a community of 14,000 members who are all scaling their businesses with AI. If you're serious about using AI to scale your business, book a free SEO strategy session with my team. The link is in the comments and description. It will show you how to implement AI systems that are already available to get more customers and grow your revenue. Because here's the thing, while DeepThink is incredibly exciting, there are already AI tools and strategies you can use right now to transform your business. Don't wait for the next big update to start getting results. Use what's available today to build momentum, then add new capabilities like DeepThink when they become available. The businesses that are already using AI effectively will be in the best position to leverage advanced capabilities like DeepThink when they launch, but the businesses that are still waiting for the perfect AI tool will be left behind. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below and let me know what you think about Google's Deep Think update. Are you excited about the possibilities? What business problems do you hope it can help you solve? And if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the latest AI updates that could transform your business. Your The AI revolution is accelerating and the businesses that stay informed and move fast are the ones that will dominate their markets. Don't get left behind.